62-year-old with a history of MS, patient was actually trying to get up to go to the bathroom and slip down the side of their bed, not injured, but unable to get up, and they actually have hired a personal assistant who, in the case of many in our area, they're unable to get a hold of after they're paid for their services, and they never show back up again. I see a lot of nods in there. There's going to be a lot of people in this room that are going to see this as a night in their ambulance service as well. So, you know, people like, you know, I see Kevin McConnell in the back of the room, Charlie Kelly here. These people are familiar with this because this happens every night. We are. You are needed down here. I have a, a mother-in-law, 89 years old, and I know that we've used you before in this little town of Cesar, Illinois. So they don't have an ambulance service. So there are a little, lot of little towns down here, and, and uh, you are needed. <clears throat> Southern Illinois Healthcare. Our primary goal is improving health care from first patient contact from the EMT all the way to post discharge uh, from one end of the health care spectrum to the other. And uh, of course, we want to do that uh, the, uh, effectively and as efficiently as we can. What you just told us, the, the whole <coughs> realm, you know, it's not hypothetical. Right? You're, you're talking what we're facing right now. 